Mercury is in retrograde. My emotions have been on a fucking roller coaster. That's cool and all, but you're not gonna be nobody's ass. channel for today's video we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me i really haven't done an official chit chat get ready with me because i don't know i don't think i think it was better vlog style for like five minutes and then i'm like i think they like it better when i actually sit down see what do y'all like what y'all don't like let me know so yeah today will be a chit chat get ready with me life updates stuff like that what's been going on about my whole week because girl i've been going through it i've been going through it mercury is in retrograde or whatever the fuck that shit is called like i don't know i've just been going through a lot of emotions this week girl i just cannot wait to tell you but first i'm gonna tell you about this hair y'all like it oh bitch i look like a crackhead what is the vibe that you're getting are you getting wanda from the holiday heart let's get this bike wanda, hurry up. Damn, hurry like this. Asshole. are you getting you getting little mermaid like, no 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 Which one like are you getting like stripper mommy on the like take all your man's money that type of thing you know every time i get colored hair i feel like uh alter ego like i feel like a different new girl of course you do but anyway so yeah this hair is from beauty forever hair this hair was dyed five times burgundy it will be in another video it will probably be posted before this video and yeah, this hair was dyed burgundy five times. It came black, well, like a natural, whatever, you know. And then it was dyed five times, made into a wig bundles, and this is a closure. And then when it looked like a lace, and I was really impressed with that. I was like, damn. So I'm just about to be styling this hair because, girl, it's kind of a mess right now. I've been doing, like, yoga, a whole bunch of stuff during the week. And I kind of like my hair dirty, especially when I'm about to curl it because it holds a curl better. So I'm just about to curl it because I really want curls today because I had it straight the other day. Do my lips look too big? I put lip plumper on. Wow, no bitch. This is giving me Wendy's. I haven't had Wendy's in so long. So I'm literally just going to curl this hair real quick. And then once I get started with my makeup, um, we're going to get to talking. We're going to get to chatting. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. But yeah, this hair is beat. And also, my edges are left out because my stylist, he really wanted to take care of my edges, so he left it out. So don't be going to no stylist that don't give a fuck about your hair in front of, in, under these wigs. Because at the end of the day, one day you might not want to wear a wig and that shit might come off and you might not have no edges. Yeah, girl, I've been having like a rough week. I cannot wait to tell you. So let me just get to curling my hair and we'll get to talking.
Okay, I am back. I just put on my eyebrows and I curled my hair. This hair is so bomb, y'all. It's gonna be so cute once y'all see me, my makeup, you know, you know the vibes. So yeah, don't forget to check out Beauty Forever Hair, the hair details. <coughs> The hair details will be in the description box below, honey. So, anyway, so I'm just about to put my foundation on. I really need to get a new foundation. I'm always using NARS and Lancome Double Wear. I mean, as they louder mix. I just feel like it would be better, but I've just been so lazy and I haven't been able to do that. Y'all, I have been nowhere. Like, I'm so thirsty for a trip, y'all. I'm so white. Like, can you not tell? Like, can you not? It's so annoying. I cannot wait to go on this trip in September. I'll be going to Miami. But anyways, bitch, I've been so fucking stressed out. Like, I don't know what is going on with the universe or me or what the fuck. I've been on my period. Yeah, Mercury's in retrograde. So, a bitch has been feeling crazy. My emotions have been on a fucking roller coaster. Y'all, this week has been the hardest week ever for me. Like, I don't know what is going on or, like, when am I going to shake this? Well, today is a good day, but the past couple days have not been good for me. Um, First, let's take a rewind back into the beginning of the week. So, y'all, like, these two big-ass brands, big-ass brands, a bitch was big happy. And, um, so, like, as you know, like, I'm an upcoming influencer. I've only been doing this for, like, a year. So, I'm learning as I go, especially with working with these companies. They'll ask you to fill out these forms, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So, they'll ask you to fill out a W-9 form with bigger companies. And then they'll ask you to fill out an invoice and this was my first time working with an invoice both of these companies asked me for an invoice so i'm like what the fuck is an invoice like i don't even know what that is i mean i know what an invoice is but i was like i don't know how that goes i don't know what the form should look like i don't know like so one of the companies that contacted me they had um a form with they already had the invoice uh i just had to fill it out i don't know i'm new to this <laughs> like i don't want to sound new but I am new, like, the invoice, she was like, oh, just Google it, like, we were emailing back and forth, and I was, she was like, just Google it and use that form, and I was like, okay. So then, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna research this, I'm gonna ask my mama about this, because my mom has her master's in business, so I'm like, let me just ask her to look this up, research it for me, and I'm gonna get back to these people. So then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna contact them back, whatever. And then, so the first company that already emailed, that emailed me with the invoice, like, I was following up with them, blah, blah, blah. Like, I was so happy to be working with this company. Bitch, I have not heard from that company. I have followed up with them, blah, 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 because I wanted, they sent over the, they sent over, because we already had discussed, like, a month ago, like, what my rates were, blah, blah, blah. And then, this month, they had contacted me, like, we want to move forward, blah, blah, blah. I was like, woo, woo, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, woo woo, like, yeah, I'm gonna be making big money. So then, um, I was like, but no, but that was a whole, that was last month when we nego negotiated those rates. So I was like, no, like, I want to renegotiate the prices, the rates, because my Instagram is going up, like, what? And my YouTube is gonna be like at a hundred thousand. Thank you all. So, and again, thank y'all so much. We almost there. Our family is growing. Period. Pool. So I'm like, no, I want to discuss rates, renegotiate rates, whatever, whatever. Bitch, I have not heard from that company. I have not heard from them. And I'm like, oh my God, like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm like over here big geeked and I haven't even heard from them. But you know what? Um, the other company, I had asked them, um, I was like, okay, we can move forward. I'm going to fill out the uh, invoice. But I was like, I'm not going to fill out the W-9 form. Because I feel like, because another YouTuber told me, um, that I shouldn't fill out a W-9 form if I'm not doing like a long-term um, contract or anything like that. So I was like, okay, so I just stick with that. Like, I don't fill out W-9 forms. So I was like, I'm not going to fill out the W-9 form. Is that okay? And then she goes, we're just, I'm just going to wait on this. I was like, what? You're going to wait? 
I've been fucking waiting to work with y'all. Like, what the fuck? And this brand uh takes influencers out on trips so bitch i want to go on a fucking trip i want to i want to blow y'all minds away to be working with y'all like what the fuck like i want to like i want to impress y'all like i want to go on a trip like you know them branches look so fucking lit but i don't know like it's kind of so i was so fucked up on that because i'm like what the fuck this is the type of shit that you work hard for so these brands can notice you and i'm not the one I don't reach my hand out to work with a brand. I wait for brands to notice me. And then that's when I move forward to work with them. That's the type of influencer I am. I know some people do. And I know some people have managers to like move forward. Help them um, get ahead. Work with brands. Whatever. whatever. But I'm just up and coming. So I can't really. Um, you know. I don't really know what to say so I just wait for brands to contact me and then when big ones contact me I get so fucking geeked like cuz that's this is what I'm working for to work with bigger brands and get noticed and hopefully build my own empire wait I'm gonna put a little bit of this light on of this medium honey and this is suntan that's already on my face oh my god my eyelash let me just let this dry for a little bit um so yeah that was literally like i was so mad because i'm like i'm gonna be making big money i've been working woo woo and then it's just like <laughs> my fucking parade has been rained on it's just so like ugh, like whatever so that was a little downer for me and then also Okay, my Instagram, I know it's not all about likes and stuff like that. But you know what? Oh, hold the fuck up. This eyelash is irritating me. Another thing, um, so for Instagram, for example, my Instagram has been doing so good, y'all. And y'all been noticing, like, I've been getting, like, you know, 20,000 likes, 40,000, blah, blah, blah. My page has been growing, like, whatever. So this week, y'all... This week, you know, I have this new hearing. And one of my, my posts this week have not been doing good. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why has my... Like, usually when your pictures... All my pictures usually hit the Explore page. That's how I get a lot of following. Because, you know, people mostly get bored with their own timeline. And they go on the Explore page to see who the fuck is on there. And then that's when, you know, boo boo boo. That's how you get to your following. And... My pictures haven't been hitting the explore page this week. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is going on? Like, I'm getting so mad. Well, I, I'm getting so mad where I'm getting to a point where I'm comparing myself to other people. And I never do that. I never do that. So I'm like, what the fuck? Is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? God. <laughs> oh, my God. God, are you, like, testing me? Like, what are you trying to do here? Like, I feel like everything is happening for a reason. It's my journey. Woo, woo, woo. I think that God is teaching me a fucking lesson, bitch. Because when I was uh, at 90K, like, literally, I just hit it that day. And I'm like, oh, yes, we finna be at 100K. Like, woo, woo, woo. I put it on my Insta snap and everything. And God was like, bitch, no. No, bitch. You better simmer the fuck down, ho. Because, like, no. God, like. I'm humble like what do you mean like this is what I've been working for this is what you know this is what you know what I've been working for like what to build my name and to work with brands and to finally like just create my own lane like this is exactly what I've been working for like so when I don't hit my numbers that I want I get so Ugh, like I just feel like I don't want to do nothing like I feel like I keep I need to keep brainstorming as you can fucking see I can't multitask because I can't do my makeup and talk to y'all at the fucking same time <laughs> um I compare myself I don't want to do nothing like I just feel like I need to sit and brainstorm on what I need to do what videos I really want to do what pictures I want to post what content I want to make like I will literally isolate myself just so I can um figure out what I need to do to uh, build my platform better. It's so fucking sensitive. So <laughs> I didn't cry or nothing, but it was just like, damn, what the fuck? Like, and then um, it just really had me like thinking, like I get deep in my thoughts. And then these are the type of times I feel like I should have 
like a mentor or something somebody that's bigger than me like i wish i could just talk to them like who's a bigger influencer and be like oh my god have you ever went through this like you know because you don't ever know like you always question yourself and it's good to have somebody to talk to but i don't have nobody to talk to where i can just call them up and be like oh my god like girl like i'm going through this and then she'll help me like encourage me blah 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 but the only person i can really talk to is my mama because she's the only one that i mean like knows what i'm trying to do for real i mean my friends know too but I want somebody to that relates to me, you know? But you know, entrepreneurs do that shit all the time. They'll have a good week of sales or something and then like the next week it'll be like boo. -boo. Like some bullshit. But they never stop going. I mean they never stop pushing, so why should I? Why should I stop pushing just cause one week ass a week? So I have to be my own mentor. I have to be like, bitch, snap out of it. You can do it. You got this. Like, you you didn't get this far for no reason. Like, and I only been doing this for like a year. So, and this is my first year. So, you need to relax. Like, <clears throat> and I'm from a small city. So, I don't really beat myself up that much. But, I mean, like, I still want to do good. Because I know there's people out there that want to really see me fail. And really don't see this as really something for me. But I see it as something for me. Because. And that's all that matters. So yeah. Just if you're going through something like this. Or anything that's bringing you down. Questioning yourself. Blah blah blah. Just tell yourself you got this girl. Like you got this. Beyonce probably. Well you know what. I don't know. <laughs> you know Beyonce probably has been through some shit. We just don't know it. Like. In the beginning she's been doing this shit for years <sighs> yeah i wish i had like a mentor to talk to to be like girl like i'm going through it help me and yeah i know it's not all about likes and stuff like that like on internet instagram or whatever but when it comes to these brands it does matter honestly like that's how you get your um what to charge them for rates and stuff like that or whatever um, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it anymore. I'm just keep praying and keep pushing because I'm a real ass bitch, and that's what real bitches do. Period. Oh, and not to mention, um, I have I think I lost like I don't even know like 40 followers this week. Like, damn, the fuck? I'm like, damn, damn, what I do, what I did, shit. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> Girl. That's T. That's what I've been going through. So, yeah. I just be having to push through, you know? On my menstrual cycle, like. Girl. I just like, girl, relax. Y'all, I need some dick. Like, I have cobweb pussy at this point. Like, so, for eyeshadow, I literally always use this. This is, like, my favorite palette. And so I'm just going to be using the Now Boarding and the Fox Real for my eyeshadow colors. And this is the Artistry Palette from Morphe. I want this video to be out there. So maybe manifesting, I'm going to be that big bitch one day. I'm going to be over here making merch. I'm going to be over here on the Leah J. Jackie on the Saturdays going to Essence Fest as a artist, as a, you know, creator. And y'all can come back on my channel and be like, yeah, she did. She went through it, like, but she kept pushing through, you know? Because I get so many fucking DMs about YouTube and stuff. And I will be doing a Q&A, question and answer. Y'all can ask away. Like, I don't care. I'm going to answer all the questions. I already know y'all want the answers. But, yeah, I'm going to be, like, a resource for y'all. Because I don't have a resource. I'm learning as I go, girl. Baz me it over. I said, man, me look at this liner though, y'all. <laughs> Bitch, bitches ain't fucking me with fucking with me with the liner. So I just seen somebody tag me in Ming Lee Simmons photo. Y'all, honestly, I'm trying not to like her. Mm -mm. She not doing hot girl city girl shit. She doing some fucking I don't know. Like, why are you posting? That nigga Sway Lee. Everybody knows that nigga Sway Lee ain't shit. Like, like she stay posting him. Like, girl, everybody knows that you really like him. Like, relax. Like, he ain't shit. 
first of all. Like, and that fucking crazy psycho bitch that he be with. I don't know, his girlfriend or whatever. They really need to break up. They toxic as fuck. And then Ayoki, she want to get on there like, I understand that's her sister. She want to defend her, boo boo boo. But, girl, you need to be going to your sister telling her, bitch, don't be posting him. Why are you posting him? Why are you posting him? Don't be trying to argue with the girl, trying to sound all educated and shit. Because you're going to Harvard, that's cool and all, but you're not going to be nobody's ass. He stopped posting him, meaning, like, that's not cute. We got to get these girls together. <laughs> How do y'all say it? Lori Harvey scored us some motherfucking points. That bitch was seen out with fucking P. Diddy, bitch. And he would, she used to go with, uh... Diddy son just <laughs> bitch period and and top it off they was fucking matching that's that bitch just scored us the extra bonus points periods that bitch just living her best life she does not give a fuck and I love it oh yeah this is pretty <laughs> both is pretty shine oh it looks like I'm literally blushing but I'm not We cute. So y'all, I'm trying to get into hoops. So I'm gonna show y'all the hoops that I just got. I used to love fucking gold hoops. Like gold hoops used to be my signature. I feel like it will look cute today. And I'm gonna put some of this of my Gucci Pour Femme on. It smells so fucking good. If you get a chance, please go, go smell it and think of me. I guess oh my God. wow I really feel like a hooker or something <laughs> hoops though let me know in the comment section if you like these hoops on me because I don't know I'm not used to them anymore Okay, let me um put a little outfit on and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna see how this looks. Alright y'all, so I'm just ending the video right here on my vlog camera. I didn't feel like getting on my big camera. I don't know, it's just a different vibe once I get on this camera. But I just curled my hair a little more and then put on these silver hoops. They cute. I like that the gold the silver vibe better than the gold vibe because it was just, it's just a different vibe. And then look y'all, look what I got. This little cute vintage find. It's gonna be so cute with this outfit. I'm just gonna curl my hair some more. And don't forget, this hair is from Beauty Forever Hair. Details will be in the description box below. And I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye.